Good morning everyone, welcome back to an Apple's and Tiara's vlog. Today is Thursday, May 12th, and it's already been an insane day, an insane morning, and let me tell you why. <music> This evening I have a dentist appointment at 4.15 and then I have a Glee Club concert at 5.15. How those two events ended up being scheduled for the same day, I don't even know, but this is like the fourth time I've rescheduled my dentist appointment, so I feel obligated to go. I'm gonna just get there and be like, can you guys get me in and out as fast as you can? No x-rays, no like anything extra, just get them cleaned, get me out, and get me back here. Luckily I only live like 15, 20 minutes away from school or not live, the dentist appointment is only 15, 20 minutes from school. So if I can at least get out of there by five, I'll make it here on time, but my appointment's not till 4.15. I have half a mind to just cancel it and call it a day and just tell them I can't make it. Um, so I might call and see if I can do that. It's just gonna be really stressful. So anyways, um, this morning I woke up early so that I could do my hair because I knew that I wasn't gonna have time to go home and like do anything to my appearance before this concert tonight where I'm gonna be in front of a lot of parents. And so I wanted to kind of like get myself sort of ready so that I could like finish once we get back here. Concert doesn't start till 5.30 so I would have a little bit of wiggle room to just like touch up some things. Didn't do my makeup. I was gonna do that today during lunch or recess. Um, and then the plot thickens. I forgot my work computer at home. Last night I left directly from a staff meeting in PLC there was big drama with Cash. He had something stuck in his eye. I had to leave early. It was like this big drama. Um, having your kid at your own school is really hard. I'm just gonna say that. So if any of you mother teachers out there have your own child at your school, please leave comments down below and tell me it gets better because it has been a nightmare this year. Um, things are, I mean, it's fine, but like, it's just difficult. Anyway, so left my work computer at home. Not gonna have a work computer here today at all. I borrowed like a kid's Chromebook for the day just so that I could like keep track of like kids work and um, things like that. Like everything is digital and posted. I just don't have any of my like saved files. So luckily everything has been posted already. But my golly Miss Molly, what a nightmare. Um, so I need, I didn't eat breakfast. Um, luckily I've had some sort of like energy caffeine put into my body this morning. It's my teammate's birthday. Didn't get him anything. Didn't do anything for him. Um, which sucks because last year I did and I'm like, it's just been a, it's been a rough week, rough couple of weeks. So anyway, we're going to make it. It's going to be fine. We have two days left this week. We have next week and then one more week, which that week is kind of like a wash because it's the last week. And we have some things going on. Um, we have this college days thing happening where the kids get to sign up for a college course and like go to another teacher in the school and take the course from them. I'm gonna be teaching drama 101, so I'll be doing like improv, acting, stage directions, like basic drama skills, um, like an introductory class to theater. And um, so I don't know how many kids have signed up for that yet. I have to sign my class up for that today. So it's gonna be kind of a stressful day. And on top of that, I'm moving classrooms, not next week, but the week after. So everything has to be packed up and ready to move, which we've done a pretty good job. Everything is getting very close. Everything is kind of in a stage where I can just pick it up and move it to the next room. Um, so that's gonna be all wonderful. But anyways, I'm stressed out. It's gonna be fine. I'll keep you guys posted throughout the day if I survive it. We'll see. Okay, so the plot thickens. Sorry you guys can't see me, there's a lot of backlighting. But this Chromebook is automatically like set up to log a student in, and so the email is at students dot, and then the district. Um, so I'm not able to sign into this computer. Um, I might have to sign in as one of my students and then like sign into Google with my own account. So we'll see if I can handle that once a couple of them get here. Otherwise, I'm gonna be without a Chromebook today, which is fine because like I said, everything is already preloaded onto their computers, so I really don't need a Chromebook. Um, it just would be nice if I could like keep track of things on the Chromebook and like still function. Maybe? I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> okay, so it's letting me sign in to the Chromebook. So we're good there. 
And I already have a mouse set up in this Chromebook too. And I was able to use my HDMI port to transfer what I'm looking at here to my screen on my desktop. So like I have this screen here. Um, so I am able to use both of these screens, but I will unfortunately not be able to use the TV unless I have an HDMI that I can put straight from that TV to this computer. So if I actually really needed to project anything up there, I could, but that's just because I have the cords to do so. Okay, you guys, so I did get my life together. I ended up running home during my prep, um, which is currently right now, um, and I just grabbed my work computer because a couple of things, <laughs> the internet on the student computer was like horrendous and it was taking 13 million years to load pretty much everything I needed and I just couldn't deal with it. So I only live like two minutes away, um, so I decided to just run home and I dropped the kids off at 10.01. I got back here at like 10.07. So it really didn't like waste a ton of my time, but still just kind of like an inconvenience. But anyways, the Chromebook is back and I can finally function like a human being. Has anyone ever done that where they've left their work computer somewhere and it's like impossible to get anything done because your whole life depends on what's on that computer? Like. I wasn't able to edit the things I normally would edit, like things like that. It's just, I just, I just can't have it. It just can't be. I am definitely a creature of habit, that's for sure. Um, another problem I have today is I don't have any lunch. I do have like cucumbers and dip and stuff and like turkey and cheese, which is probably what I'll end up eating for lunch and that's fine. It's food, it's sustenance and it will get me through my day. But man, what a rough morning. I did end up canceling my dentist appointment. Um, I do need to call them back probably right now, should do that and get that scheduled because this summer is going to be chalk filled with appointments and I need to start getting on scheduling them so I can put them on my calendar at home. Does anyone else like fully chalk fill their summers with doctor's appointments because there's no time during the school year? Anyone else? Raise your hand. Drop an emoji of a, uh, a hand in the comments below if that's you. I know Jennifer, my friend Jennifer from Genuine Teaching, I know she like fills her summers with doctor's appointments because it truly is the only time of the year that we can do it. Anyway, I'm going to sit here and enjoy my quiet prep time, eat a snack, go potty, and do a couple of little things here and there and around the square. Hey you guys, so it is now the end of the day. I literally just walked in from recess and it was really hot out there. Um, one of my eighth grade Glee Club girls and I, we were just kind of walking around, sharing headphones, jamming out. Paloma to the front office please, Paloma to the front office. Um, and it was just a nice relaxing recess. I kind of like make my rounds around the yard and um, we were just listening to a little music, jamming out, a little bit of music therapy. But it is the end of the day. Uh, we started working on our Explorers flip books, which are these cute little flip books that just go through each Explorer and teaches them about like which country they sailed for, what they accomplished during their journey, um, and like just quick facts about them as explorers themselves. So kind of cool, we're just kind of doing a little bit of um, independent research with those the next couple of days. So I don't really have a lot of prep to do. Um, I do have a little bit of grading to do, but that's not a big deal. So anyway, um, I went ahead and canceled my dentist appointment. I don't know if I told you guys that yet, but I did cancel it. So I'm gonna leave here at four, go home, um, probably just lay down for a little bit because I'm exhausted. My head is already hurting. I think it's probably just from the heat and lack of a lot of water. And then I will have to be back here tonight by five o'clock to get ready for the Glee Club concert. So yeah, I'm gonna just sit here, do a little bit of work, and then in 50 minutes I can go home. So anyway, 
Um, super uneventful day other than my terrible morning and luckily I was able to fix my afternoon because if I was going to try and do the dentist and glee club concert it would have probably made my day really stressful so anyways I'm gonna go I hope you guys enjoyed today's video um, and I will see you in the next one bye